This is just going to be a spätzle that's flavored with a little bit of cheese. So again, we're starting with three eggs, three large eggs, a pinch of salt. And you know, you could actually make these the day before. They hold very well. A little grinding of nutmeg again. We want a little bit of water. I start with a half a cup, but I don't know how much I'm going to use because I want the batter to be thick enough. So I'll put in a little water and just whisk those eggs around until they're well, well blended. Okay, now we're going to add a little bit of that wonderful Asiago cheese again from the Veneto. So add about a couple tablespoons. We're going to also add more cheese at the end when we serve these. So blend that in. And now we have about one and one quarter cups of all-purpose flour. So I'm going to put that in just a little at a time. I want to gauge where I want to be. Everything is quanto basta. You know what quanto basta means? Quanto basta means, well, as much as you need. So as much flour as you need, as much spicing as you need, whatever it is. So what you want is a fluid, fluid batter here. You don't want to make pasta dough. You want something that's thick but fluid. So I think that's just about right. I'm going to give that just a drop more of our water. A smidge. That's it. And now this is going to go again into that wonderful spatzel maker. But before we do that, we have to let this sit around. So we let this sit around like we did the spinach one to just, you know, settle in and thicken up a little bit. So while that's sitting here, we're going to make the sauce. After the speck is all browned up, we'll add the cream. Now look at how nice this looks. It's browning up nicely. It's got a, a really wonderful flavor. You just have to try speck because if you haven't tried it, I can't really explain to you how delicious this is. So now I want to turn down the heat a little bit and we're going to add the cream. So about a cup of cream, heavy cream, in the pan. And now this is just going to make the most elegant, elegant sauce for the spätzle that we're going to make. And later on I'm going to add a little cheese to this. So that's all there is to it. You just let it cook for a couple minutes and it's ready to go when you are. Now we're going to add a little bit of grated Asiago cheese to the sauce. All told, you're going to want about a half a cup. So put about a quarter of a cup in the sauce and then the rest you can sprinkle over the top when you serve the spätzel. So that looks good. And while that is keeping warm for us, we're going to cook the spätzel. Okay, we have boiling water. Go back and forth like that. If you're not using this, you're using a colander, remember? Next time you are in northern Italy, you'll have to ask for spätzle. And everyone will be so proud of you because you know what it is. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. And now we can take them over, put them on a platter. These are delicious. Again, as a first course, serve them in a bowl, in a dish, however you want them. Mm -hmm.